Hi, it's Jodie and welcome to another reading vlog. So I am in my nice cozy dressing gown and my hair is still soaking wet because I'm in the middle of getting ready. But this is gonna be a bit of a weird vlog. As we all are aware, there is currently a pandemic happening to do with the coronavirus and many governments have gone into lockdown. So it is the 18th of March today and as of yet, um, the British government hasn't done an official lockdown yet. We are just being told to practice social distancing and to self-isolate if you think necessary or anyone in your household has any symptoms. So at the moment, no one in my household has any symptoms or anything. Um, but I'm actually already off work for two weeks. So yeah, I'm kind of just staying in really. So this vlog's going to be very, very different to usual because I'm obviously not able to go anywhere and it's just an unusual time and an unusual thing to be experiencing so yeah it's very scary and I really hope everyone is keeping safe and taking like the necessary precautions um to protect the vulnerable in our society so yeah that's all I'm going to say about it so this vlog may be a bit different to usual I thought I'd start by telling you guys um two books I've finished recently which are The Love Hypothesis by Laura Stephen and The Shadows Between Us by, I always forget the author's name, um, Trisha Lavancella, I think is how you pronounce it. So I gave this one three stars. I read it in 24 hours. It was really, really quick, easy read. I really enjoyed the story. It was quite different. There was just some things in it that just made me give it a lower rating because I just didn't like them. The main characters were very, very selfish and there was a lot of classism and those aspects I just really did not enjoy the story and just certain things but it was still a really really fun book to read um, so I will link my review for this down below and then I finished The Love Hypothesis by Laura Stephen so this book was really fun it was so funny and just witty and it was full of nerdy humour which I love because I'm a huge nerd um, and there's a lot of physics in this and this is the first book I've actually ever tapped before I've never ever annotated or tabbed a book in my life so I tapped this one and I've completely forgotten what all this tabs meant but yeah it was really fun to do and they match the book cover which is kind of cool if you can see it <laughs> This is basically an, an LGBT love story, sort of. I would really, really recommend this book. It is just really humorous. The, one of the characters is called Vati in here. I just found it hilarious and I absolutely loved him. And it's just a really good story about a young girl kind of on her own journey of self-discovery, discovering her sexuality and self-love. And it's just a really funny, like witty and even emotional story. And I really, really enjoyed this. I gave it three and a half stars because it was just such a fun book and just, yeah, I'd really recommend people picking this up. So those are two books I've read this month. Um, I finished an audio book as well. So at the moment, I'm currently reading The Guinevere Deception. I'm only 113 pages in, so I'm not even halfway yet. And I just, I am enjoying it, it's just not a book that I'm itching to pick up and carry on reading but I'm hoping to finish it this week and then I tried to reread City of Bones because I read this book years ago like well before the movie came out and at the time I loved it. I decided I wanted to try to reread City of Bones and now obviously read all of Cassandra Clare's books. So I picked this book up the other day and I couldn't get past chapter two. I don't know what it is. I just really do not like it. It's it was just I don't know. I really didn't like it. I just could not bring myself to read it. I think it's because I really don't like Clary and Jace. I don't know why I don't like them, but I just don't. But I really want to read it, and I, I really love the world and the story. Um, so obviously I want to reread it. So I finally downloaded the audio book, and I'm. I mean, my bookmark's 273 pages, but I'm a lot further into that, so I'm over halfway through now, and I only started the audiobook yesterday, so I'm hoping to finish this today. I've got four hours, four and a half hours left of the audiobook, so I'm going to try and finish this today. Um, I'm actually really, really enjoying the audiobook. Like, it's weird because it's literally the exact same, obviously, as reading the book, but for some reason, I just cannot physically read this book, but I really enjoy the audio. It's so easy to listen to and get through, and I just, yeah. I'm flying through it so that's good. I am currently reading that as well. That is all the reading updates I have and just general updates. Um, 
I am actually going out today. I've got an hour drive to where my boyfriend lives because I need to go into work to pick up two books, which is really exciting because I want them now in case the lockdown does happen because I want to read them um, while I'm off work. I'm going to do that and then I will be coming home and staying home and I'll probably update you guys later. So yeah. <laughs> I am obsessed with this dressing gown guys. I love it so much. It's so long and snuggly. I don't usually wear anything pink. I don't really like the colour pink, but I love this. Like, look at it. This is actually, and I think this is a small or an extra small and it's still huge, but I just love it. And I also have new slippers. So I am well prepared for self-isolation and I will show you where I will be spending it. So I'm going to be spending pretty much my entire self-isolation in this corner and look at how nice this pillow is so this is from february's fairy loot i think or it was this year um i got this in a fairy loot box and it has this quote on it that says with freedom books flowers and the moon who could not be happy which is an oscar wilde quote and i love it i need a bigger pillow for it though because this is not big enough for it but it has this gorgeous illustration on the back um so yeah i just thought it was about time I switched my pillows up and it's so pretty and look how cute my bed sheets are so these are new these are from Asta um, but they had little cats on them and I thought they were really really cute so I just want to show you guys in my reading journal that I have um the books that I did write in to read this month and then the books that i've read so far it is completely changed so the one that i've uploaded on this channel for my march tbr is more accurate than what i wrote here but i'll just show you so that was my original tbr um yeah the only book i'm actually reading off it is the gonna be a deception i might start ruin and rising but i'm not going to be reading any of those now um, but I have read these books so far um, So yeah, not too bad really sad because it was supposed to be the northern um, young adult literary festival on Saturday, but it's cancelled obviously because everything's going on, but I have my birthday on Sunday Also, this is my reading journal. I just hit myself in the face <laughs> So yeah, this is my reading journal. It's not like a journal like most people keep. It's just basically a diary um, and every month it has those little pages where you can read, write down what you want to read and which books you have read and it just looks like this um, and it's from Waterstones and yeah I love it so I just thought I'd mention that <laughs> Hi, hello. So it is now Friday. Yeah, so it's now Friday and I have no idea when I last updated you guys, but I have a couple of updates. <laughs> so I finished City of Bones. Um, I rated it three stars. This is a reread for me. I read it years ago and I liked it at the time, but I just really can't stand Clary and Jace and it just kind of made me a bit like, uh, like, I don't know. So I gave it three stars. And then I also read, um, well, listened to Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. So this is the second book. Um, so this is the sequel to City of Bones. And I really enjoyed this. It's just a really nice, easy read. And I love how, like, in the first book, it's set in Scotland and it's very Scottish and it follows... Scottish kind of history and then this one's set in Paris and it's very Parisian and there's a lot of like Parisian history in there like the catacombs and stuff um, and it's just really really cool like ghost story kind of thing and yeah I just really enjoy these. I gave this four stars and really really enjoyed it. At the moment I'm still reading the Guinevere Deception but I am picking up Illuminae finally. It's, I think it's how you say it or Illuminae. Illuminae. Um, this is by Jay Christoph and Amy Kaufman a um, lot of hype about these books I have all three I've just never read them before and um, the format has always put me off because it's like is it multimedia or mixed media um, but I started it I mean I'm only on page 16 so not very far at all but I did tweet about this 
to see if people thought it was quite a fast read and most people said that it was so i'm hoping to get through this fairly quickly but this and then i need to finish the guinevere deception because i've just made like zero progress on it i don't know why i just i don't know but i'm only like a hundred and something pages in so i really really need to read a huge chunk of that i really want to finish it by sunday so yeah <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much the only updates i have i haven't really filmed past few days because i've just looked like crap basically um so yeah that's pretty much <laughs> it i got the crescent city tour edition um which looks like this it's super pretty and it has crescent city on the front and then through love all is possible and this came with a little badge that says through love all is possible which i am obsessed with looks like this it's super pretty i also picked up this book here friend charles talked about this book and said it was like amazing and then i've seen a few other people on instagram and twitter talk about this and say how good it was so i ordered it and then it finally came in because i think this was a us import for the hardback um but it finally arrived so i picked it up and that is the bridge kingdom by danielle jensen so this sounds so cool and i'm obsessed with the cover and I can't wait to read it. I will link it down below if anyone wants to know what it's about. And then today I did pop into town because we needed to get a few more bits and pieces. Um, so I went into Waterstones and I bought myself an early birthday present. So I got myself the Harleen graphic novel and this is by, I can't pronounce that, I'm so sorry. I will link it down below. So this is Harleen and I am really excited to read this. So this is so cool. So it looks like this, but then when you take the cover off, oh, it's slipping. <laughs> when you take the cover off, it has this really, really cool art underneath. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited to read this. This is actually on the bestsellers list at the moment. So I've heard amazing things about it and the comic looks amazing and the illustrations look so, so cool and yeah i really am excited to read this and it was just a nice little birthday present to get for myself so i'm pretty happy that i picked it up continuing the theme of a haul i have one more book dad actually picked this up for me um so this is the third book in the outlander series and this is voyager by diana gabaldon um so i've been listening to these on audio and i'm planning on reading well, listening to the audio for this one soon so my dad picked it up for me and yeah so <laughs> that is pretty much all my little updates and a mini haul and don't really have anything else exciting to tell you guys about i mean it's my birthday in two days and i shall be spending it and the remainder of the weekend indoors doing absolutely nothing so yay love that for me <laughs> you know it's just one of those things hi so it's saturday now yeah <laughs> i can't remember the day um so it's saturday the 21st of March and I've done zero reading, no reading updates, um, probably not going to read tonight either, I have quite a bad headache, I still haven't made any progress on this, I'm still 16 pages in so <laughs> yay, <laughs> I'll probably update you guys tomorrow um, and hopefully have some footage to put in for my birthday, um, so yeah. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>
today is Sunday and it is my birthday and I've just got ready to find my hair super curly. But I thought I would come on to unbox a couple of things. So my parents got me a personalised copy of um, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas and it is signed by her and it has my name in it. So yeah, it says Jodie and then Sarah J Maas' signature there. So yeah, that's my, like my most prized possession now. And then I have two Amazon parcels that arrived here. So I'm assuming these are for my birthday, so I didn't open them until obviously now. Um, so let's open these, which is exciting. This is from Meg, who is super, super lovely, and you all need to go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. I will leave it down below because she's literally the nicest person ever and I love her videos. Um, but yeah, she sent me this. It says, Hi Jodie, thought I'd send you a little something for your birthday. I saw this on your wish list and it's a book I would love to read. I hope you love it too. Have a beautiful day from Meg and her handle for Twitter and everything else is Pride and Fiction. And yeah, she's super lovely, so definitely go and follow her. But this is the book that she got me. So this was the book of the year last year for Waterstones. Um, we sold a ton of these. And I actually just never bought one myself. I bought it as a gift for other people, but just not myself. And I really wanted to read it for a long time because it really is a beautiful book. And I had it on my wish list and now I finally have my own copy. So this is The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. It just has gorgeous illustrations inside and I just love it's just look at it it's beautiful um, and this is a story that's kind of it's got like a very spiritual message and it's about kindness and friendship and it's just a really really lovely story and I've wanted to read it for so long so now I finally have it so thank you so much Meg for this and then I have another parcel from Amazon here this one says um, oh this is from Mayana <laughs> So this is my favourite graphic novel, it's very weird but I hope you enjoy it from my honour. She's like one of my favourite people ever and I love her YouTube and she is another person you need to subscribe to. I think she's almost at 10k now. She deserves 10k so you better go and subscribe. Uh, so I'll link her channel down below. This is what she got me off my wish list. So this is Snot Girl. So this has been on my wish list for so long, like forever. And it's a graphic novel that I've really wanted to read. I heard about it a few years ago and it just sounded really fun and then I completely forgot about it and then recently remembered um, and added it to my wish list so I can't wait to read this and considering this is one of our favourite graphic novels then that just makes me even more excited um, but yeah it's called Snot Girl <laughs> and I just love the art style as well it's so cool look how cool this is so yeah I'm really really excited to read this and thank you so much for this yeah, I haven't opened any other birthday presents yet I have some cards and like a few gifts to open I just need to open them um, but I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I already know I've got a couple of gift cards for Waterstones. Um, so I shall be getting loads of books soon. Um, so I'll do a birthday book haul at some point. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Hello, so I'm back. It's still Sunday. It's still my birthday. I had a nice little takeaway with my family and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I received two more packages from Amazon before. So I got a little birthday present from Mika. It's on the note it says, I absolutely love this book in this series and this new cover is just gorge. I hope you love it, baby. <laughs> love her. And this is from Mika. And she got me Chris by Marissa Meyer. And this is the new paperback covers. And it's so pretty. Like, we love it. So now I really need to order the rest. Um, of the books in this series in this paperback format because they are really pretty and I might just do that tonight so yeah I love that <laughs> thank you so much Mika like you know I love you so thank you <laughs> and I received 
um this is the second book i believe i'm pretty sure this is the second book so i already have the first and third book but i didn't have the second and it's been on my wish list for a while and i got it in the post today from sophie so this is from sophie horton and her handle is at x sophie horton and it just says enjoy your gift so thank you so much sophie for getting me lady smoke by laura sebastian so yeah the second book in the series so i now have all three books so i can finally read them so thank you so much sophie because this is really really kind of you and yeah thank you again <laughs> I'm so grateful for anyone who sent me something and who's wished me happy birthday so thank you all so much for making the day a little bit better because obviously being stuck in and in quarantine for your birthday isn't the best but I've had a really lovely day with my family and my boyfriend and received a lot of lovely gifts from my family and friends and from you guys and just loads of nice messages so thank you so much and I just thought I'd say on this vlog that I am um, finally at 2000 subscribers so yeah that's a lot like i don't know how that happened i remember having like reached a thousand like two weeks ago maybe or something um it might have been longer than that but it seems like it was only two weeks ago and the fact that i've gained another thousand subscribers in such a short space of time is just amazing and i'm really really grateful and i can't thank you all enough because it's just it's a lot for me so i'm really happy thank you so much for 2000 subscribers i will be making a q a video i have a bunch of questions from when i asked everyone ages ago um to send me questions for my 1k q a which i never filmed so now i'm going to be doing a 2k q a that's like a tongue twister yeah a 2k q a so if you do have any questions um then please send them my way and i will try to answer them because i already have quite a lot um, but i'm really excited to film it and in other news, um, a sort of bookish update, my work has actually decided to close from tomorrow. So I still have a week left of holiday, um, but as of tomorrow, which will be Monday the 23rd, um, all Waterstone stores will be closing. Um, and yeah, so that means I won't be working. I don't know what my situation is going to be with wages or anything like that. And I don't know how long we're going to be closed for, but we are going to be closing from tomorrow, which I think considering how bad things are right now is the best decision to have made and hopefully it's going to reduce people going into public and the risk and the risk for both customers and employees so i think it's a really good idea and i'm going to miss working in there so much and like all my work friends so yeah it's kind of sad but it's also a good thing because it means people can be kept safer and including myself obviously and I also now have time to be at home reading more books and hopefully filming more videos for you guys. So, yeah, there's a kind of big update. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because I don't really have anything else that I'm going to be doing today. So I just figured I'll wrap it up. Um, not the best vlog, but yeah that's pretty much all my updates. I had a wonderful birthday. Thank you all so much for all your kind messages and... For 2,000 subscribers and yeah I'll see you guys soon. Bye!